So today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the blowing and sucking in one in the amphibious car. Okay. So now this is going to be a vacuum and also a blower, which is very essential for cleaning my computer, but it's also very nice to clean the little stuff around your, your computer. So like, it's, yeah, let's say you have cat hair, little crumbs on your keyboard. It's going to be very helpful to actually blow it, but then also suck the air because you don't want that stuff recirculating in your room. So if we go into the specs, we can see that this is applicable, not just for computers, like you can use it in your sofa, your rug, obviously on your computer and in the car because it's portable and it's using a very, very large battery, 1500 milliamp battery. It comes with four nozzles, two filter replacements, which is nice because it actually uses a filter. It's obviously rechargeable and it's very portable, multi-purpose, has a very strong suction of 1700 PA suction, and it comes equipped with a 78,000 RPM motor, which is extremely fast. And most importantly, it comes with an integrated LED light, which helps you to find those hard to reach areas, so essential. Now, one of the things that I wanna be comparing this cordless version is against a, another type of blower, but it's only a blower, it's not a sucker. And this is the X-Power. I reviewed this on this channel. I really liked it. However, the only downside is that it uses a, a cord, which can be kind of annoying. I've noticed that I don't use it as much because I always have to plug it in and it's not the best experience. So let's see if the cordless version can be as powerful as a corded version. So let's unbox this right now. And you can see 1500, uh, 15,000 milliamp battery, which is, you know, at least three times larger than a battery, which is quite amazing. Okay, so we unbox this and here it is. So this is the main machine. I'd say it's pretty heavy, pretty in a, a, but a good size. So let's see what else we got. Okay, so I like this. I got the thin noozle, which is very handy. We got some kind of like brusher, second one there. Ah, so we get these nice HEPA filters. These are very essential when you vacuum. Don't recirculate the stuff. Okay, so another attachment, then another attachment. This one's really good if you wanna like brush things. And then here we also have a, another filter and this is probably part of the machine. And that's about it. And we have another filter. Oh, wow, so many. Okay, cool. This has like three noozles and you can pop this out. Very interesting. And most importantly, powered by USB-C. This is what I always look for in anything that I'm buying in 2022 and 2023. That's the light switch right over here. And then this is the turn it on, right? So you gotta press this up to four times, I believe. I'm gonna grab my earmuffs because it gets pretty damn loud. So I think we just need to connect this in. This is the top part. Okay, that's in right there. And anything that you use to blow goes on the other side. So if you wanna to switch to, to use the vacuum, it's very simple. What you wanna do is rotate 180 and it covers it up. So now you've got a vacuum. So let's put on the other attachments. So that's one. Here's another one. Like that. If I wanna put this one in, it goes in just like that. And here is another attachment, more like for the vacuum. Now here are some extra noozles. So I believe it goes in like this. That's one. Tiny one wants to go in like that. I notice that this opens, the flap opens as it sucks air in. So what I already really like about this is that it uses a filter. Now, this filter is changeable, it comes with two extra ones. So the fact that it uses a filter is very important because one of the things that I noticed in my other one is when you're blowing air, it sucks a lot of air. This actually catches a lot of like fur, dust, you know, all types of stuff, all types of materials. And that's the type of stuff you don't wanna go onto your computer or on your delicate parts. You don't wanna recirculate it. So it's really good that this actually has a filter built in. That's one of the key things about this specific model is that it uses a filter. Some of the cheaper brands out there, they don't have no filter at all. They just they, they just blow air, they don't suck, and they, ha they have no filter, obviously. So what an ingenious design. You wanna to switch to a vacuum, just flop it out like that. And you're, you're in vacuum mode, put this on, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's charge it up and see how it performs and we'll compare it to this version. So after using the Lightwash Air Duster and Vacuum, I have some key takeaways I want to mention. Overall, this is a very powerful blower and sucker that does a great job at cleaning all sorts of things around your house very well. The LED light was actually a really nice addition to help clean my computer because it does a really good job at exposing dust in places where light is really hard to reach. Now the question that you might have in your head is, is it as effective or as powerful as a corded air duster? 
Well, the answer is yes. This thing does a great job, just as good as the other corded version. And the upside is that, of course, it's cordless. So it reduces the friction when you want to clean something on your computer. You don't have to worry about plugging it in. Now, the only downside is that you need to remember to charge this, and that's done by via USB-C. I also found that this blower is just as effective as a can of compressed air. And what's great is that when you're using something like this, you're going to save money in the long term and you're reducing your environmental footprint because you're reducing waste. You're not throwing out cans in a landfill. Now for the vacuum functionality, I found it to actually be very good, surprisingly. Before I would used to just blow dust all around my computer desk and that would just recirculate air, dust, air and all the fur balls. But now I can actually capture it and then throw it into the trash. This is great because I really didn't want to make more mess in my room. So if you want to clean the filter, it's really easy because they provide two filters. So there's two filters here. What you can do is you can take out the dirty filter, which you can just dump into your garbage. So it's kind of hard to get the other stuff out of there. So here's a tactic. Why don't you put the clean filter in? And this is what I use for my other Tonico bath. Uh, this is a technique I used in my previous uh, home style Tonico vacuum, where you have two filters and one you use one to clean the other. So here's your dirty filter, here's your clean filter. We're gonna put it back in side here. And we're gonna make sure this is in the, the blow mode or suction mode. And now we're just gonna simply blow onto this. Okay, so that took like five seconds and this is completely clean. So it's very easy to clean the filters. Now, what I, what I found really useful for this tool is not just for cleaning my computer. I also found it really useful for other applications. You can use this tool to blow air onto a fire. So let's say you're having a nice barbecue fire or a fire pit. You can blow air into there. You can blow air into balloons if you're having a party. But in my cases, what I use it for is to blow up my inflatables for the beach or the pool. Finally, I don't have to expend all my energy having to manually blow up some, some, like a boat, for example. I don't have to use my breath. I don't have to depend on a nearby outlet from my car. I can simply just bring this tool to the beach or the pool and just blow up all my inflatables. Overall, I really highly recommend investing into one of these blower and sucker devices, and this one particularly by Lightwish. They're a great multi-purpose tools that you'll find many applications to use it for, and they're also very powerful for the job. Anyways, that's it for this video. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video.